And now it's in the 2300s. Hey guys, Jason Lanier here. I am uh, very happy to announce that I have the A9 in my hands. And the first thing I wanted to do is, uh, this is the third time I've been able to play with this camera. And there's been a lot of discussion online about the buffer on this camera. And I'm gonna put this issue to rest once and for all. I'm gonna reel off shots in RAW, and then I'm gonna let you watch the screen on the back of the camera, and we'll see how long it takes for it to clear. I personally believe that there are not many times a photographer is gonna reel off more than 200 shots in RAW consecutively. I think there'd be a very small segment of pros that would need to do that or want to do that. But regardless, I wanna share the results with you and go from there. We're gonna reel these off, share it with you guys, and uh, I hope it puts the issue to rest for a lot of you guys out there. So guys, this is the memory card that we're going to be using for this test. This is the Lexar Professional SDXCUHS2-3, uh, a uh, class 10 card. Uh, it's 2,000 times the speed and 300 megabytes, megabytes per second. So I'm formatting the memory card to make sure that it's clean. And what I'm going to do is, okay, formatting is complete. All right, so now what we're going to do is... Um, fire these off. I'm going to see how long it goes. It's a 2,502 shots right now. We're going to see how long it goes. And then I'm going to do, I don't know, I'll wait five seconds to see if it'll allow me to shoot more. Um, and then go from there. So you ready? One, two, three, go. Okay, now it's in the 2300s. Now it's in the 2200s. Okay, so there it finally started hitting it. That was about 205 shots or so, okay? So let's wait three seconds to see if we can fire again with these people walking up. Oh, look at that, it works. Okay, so now let's wait another three seconds. One, two, three, see if it works again. So if you were shooting a sports game or whatever, you could easily just go and say, oh, more action's happening, like that dog taking a leak. Okay, now it does hit the buffer after that initial 200 it does hit the buffer but your camera isn't frozen you can still use it so these people are walking up now okay i can still use it at 20 frames a second okay so right there if you see the counter what it does now we're down to 2080 shots so in the span of maybe i don't know 45 seconds i've reeled off now what's the camera on? Yeah, probably about a minute, minute or so. I reeled off uh, 420 some odd shots. I don't know where this misconception about the buffer being bad came from. Okay, so now let's do this. Let's see if it's still writing. Okay, it's still writing. So now that's where it shows you that it's still writing right there. So now we're down to 40 left. What we'll do this time is we'll do another test and we'll just, the wind's really picking up, but we'll do another test and we'll see just how long, without uninterrupted, how long it takes to go. Here we go, one, two, three, go. So this should be a full over 200 shots in raw this time. Let's see what it does. Okay, so hit it, it's 205 again, right? So now we'll monitor it. I'll put it on play and it'll give us this counter. And I'll just put a timer on this and see how long it takes. So, so far it's cleared uh, 100 shots there. Now again, I can use this right now if I want. I'm just showing you if to clear the entire buffer the entire thing how long it takes but I could use this if I want right now easily as I showed you earlier okay so there it cleared okay so again one more time to demonstrate Okay, 205 shots again. So one 1,000, two 1,000. 
Another shot, some more actions happening. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Okay, hit a little bit there. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Okay. Guys, the normal time in between a play, like in, I don't know, the NFL, for example, people keep mentioning the NFL to me, even, and I've shot NFL games. You know, you're going to have time in between plays. But. Okay, so let's check it. So now it's writing 200 shots again. All right, so watch, do it again. And now let's wait, I don't know, let's wait till it gets down to 150 shots that it still needs to write to the buffer and write to the card and let's see what it does. Okay, ready, go. So, you know, guys, I'm, I'm gonna leave it up to you whether you're not, whether you think that's adequate for what you do. I know I'm gonna shoot some NFL games with this and some sports photography with this, but I just wanted to put that out there. This is what the buffer is doing. Um, again, we started off with 2,502 shots available. We're now down. This video has been rolling nonstop on this camera right here that we're filming on for five minutes now, and we're down to 1,441 shots. Guys, in less than in five minutes, minus all this time talking, so you take away the time I'm talking, less than, I don't know, three minutes time, I've reeled off 1,100 shots on this camera. I mean, are you, are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. That's on the high. This is on the medium. It's about 205 shots again. Well guys, I hope that helps to answer some questions for you guys out there, guys and gals out there, in regards to what this camera can do um, with the buffer. Uh, again, whether or not it works for you is a decision you have to make, not me. I know for some uh, gentlemen that I know that shoot sports professionally, like for NFL teams, they're gonna be using this, and uh, I'm very excited to test this with them at an NFL game, and I'm planning that this year. So. Um, I think the buffer is amazing. I think it's it's such a vast improvement for Sony on what they've previously uh, been able to put out. So I'm very excited for this, super excited. We've been needing a much better buffer and this far exceeds my expectations. I can't personally think of one on any more than 200 shots consecutively in RAW, but when I do, this will be the camera. And the other note is just because it shoots those 205, well, it keeps shooting. I mean, if you want to keep shooting after that, you don't have to wait until the buffer clears. It'll shoot, then it'll shoot, then it'll shoot. So I'm excited I was able to share this with you guys. I hope it helps. So until next time, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Find your gear that works for you. Thank you to Sony for letting me borrow this. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You guys still here? Hello? Talking to you. Hey guys, if you want to learn online with me, go to patreon.com slash Photography and you will be able to continue this craziness online from anywhere on planet Earth with me. If you want to join me live, go to jasonlinear.com workshops and you'll get to see me in my full glory live and in person, guys. I think there's a smudge on there. Yeah, I got it. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.